Excuse me. Excuse me, Miss Lowry. Do, do you have do you have time for some questions regarding your novel, The Giver? Well, I guess I could take some time to answer a few questions. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. Well, what was your inspiration for a society with no memory? Well, when I first constructed the thought of this novel, I was entranced by the power that memory has in our life. Memory has the power to bring pain, joy, sadness, anger, and a plethora of other emotions. When these memories are removed, society becomes bland and there's no uniqueness to the individual. So to fully answer your question, memories inspired me to depict a society without them and how it would affect the mechanisms of the society itself. Well, Miss Lowry, what made you realize the power of memory? Well, as my parents grew older, their memory started to leave them. This hit me extremely hard when my dad couldn't re recognize his own daughter that had passed away years before. When I informed him of her passing, an extreme sadness overtook him. This was when I, this is when I fully understood the impact that memories had on our perception of reality and how they change our views of the world today. So, Lois, if the society had no pain or sadness, what made it not ideal for humanity in your novel The Giver? Well, although the loss of memory contributes to no pain or sadness, without these memories, it is impossible for people to build lasting, meaningful relationships. The connections to the past is what brings people together, and when people lose touch of this, there is no place for happiness or any of the good things that memories entail or what they can bring about in your life. Why did you choose for your main character to be a boy of 12, year, 12 years old named Jonas? Well, to answer that, as a mother, I acknowledge the value that adolescents have to society. Jonas was a representation of the uniqueness of, that the individual has in life in general. Jonas was given his name because it is similar to Jonah, a biblical reference. Both of them passed judgment on the way their communities conducted themselves, and they shared that in their similarities. Lois, has it surprised you how popular your novel has become? Well, more surprising than the popularity of the novel has been some of the backlash from the reading community. Some people found the novel to be disturbing and promoting of a dystopian society. For example, when schools use this novel for a book study, it is usually required for the school to forewarn the parents. I have just